But my all right, now we're back to the John Nagy uh, show, the show you've all come to love. Paint by numbers, the two-dimensional radio show. Play some rock and roll, get out the blackboard, just draw the U.S. Constitution on it, paint, wrap myself in a flag, and poof. Yeah, you have an instant Fox a TV show. And there's no subtlety permitted. No subtlety whatsoever. You, you, you go to, take a look at what the news is reporting. CNN has fallen to the lowest level. Of, we all knew what it was, okay, so what's the view bashing them? But the lowest level was hit during the Egypt riots when one of their stars, who has no audience whatsoever, Anderson Blooper, had his hair tussled in the streets of Cairo and went on about it for eight hours. They kept replaying the tape, how his hair was tussled. And now he's hiding in a hotel room on Facebook looking for the man who tussled his hair, apparently, to have it done again. But if you go to the CNN website, this is a headline, latest news, Miley Cyrus gets tattoo number five. I'm not making this up. I swear to God. Miley Cyrus gets tattoo number five. This is equal to the new imam quits New York City Islamic Center. You hear about that one? They can't seem to find one Muslim imam who doesn't divulge his real, uh, his real beliefs. They, they marched him out. The first one they had to get rid of, it became a liability. So they hire another imam. The next thing that comes out of his mouth is homosexuality is caused by child abuse. So they moved him off the, so, oh, no, we don't, no, that's not Islam. No. He's gonna, he's gonna put him back, back where he can. We're gonna find yet another imam. They got another one where, the, God knows what the next one will say. His resignation comes on the heels of a controversial post on his website in which he claimed that, quote, an enormously overwhelming percentage of people struggle with homosexual feeling because of some form of violent, emotional, or sexual abuse at some point in their life, close quote. So they threw him off the job because apparently he insulted, uh, 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 homosexuals in New York City, so they can't cover that part of Sharia law, law up. They got rid of the first imam, now they got the second. They have to find yet another one now to, f oh yeah, we, we're in favor of, uh, uh, well, just, yeah, yeah, just don't worry about us. We're, we're just like you. Yeah, we have a swimming pool in here, and, uh, we're gonna have a community center. Oh yeah, bowling, uh, bowling lanes. So Janet Napolitano can come on in with, come from the lanes, coming out of the lanes, yeah, we sort of shooting. We read about Fort Hood on the way out of the lanes out of there in the Chevy pickup. and the, Well, we got the PR uh, going on it, so we showed we were on top of it and in front of it. And no, it couldn't, we couldn't brush up against our community here in the DHS. We're not in charge of it. No, no, we, we passed it over to the Army, and they, they covered it pretty good. They said, what they say in the Army? Let's see what he had to say after the, the shooting. Let's hear that one. Based that on one? the facts that you have now about Hassan and what happened that day, is it fair to characterize the shooting as a terrorist attack? I'm just not going to go there. That's our defense secretary. A reporter dared ask at the time, was this a terrorist attack? The guy was wearing a white robe. The man jumped up and screamed, Allah Akbar. For two years, he said he doesn't respect the U.S. Constitution, only only uh, the Koran. And our defense secretary says, I'm not even going to go there. They're still investigating it. Incidentally, I want you to understand something. Lieutenant Behenna, who I have given money for his defense and raised money for, and you've given money, do you know that his mother sent me a letter which said that he is now virtually in, in a, a prison cell built in, during the Civil War? Do you know that her son is, has still not been indicted for this crime of the Fort Hood massacre? Are you aware that Obama has blocked his indictment while our war heroes are rotting in Civil War era prisons? You don't know any of that. All that's important is that uh, you don't know any of that. You know, two legs good, four legs bad. So listen to the schmucks in the media telling you that Mubarak is the worst dictator in the Middle East. The same, the same brave men on Fox News who had nothing evil to say about uh, Ahmadinejad, the Hitler of our time, are all jumping on on Mubarak. Why? Because that's what they were told to read. That's all. That's all. They don't know anything. They don't know any better. They're dummies. They're puppets. Okay, I made my point. I'm not going to blow a fuse. You know. Night falls over Manhattan, night falls over San Francisco, night falls over all of us, and then life itself falls at the end. Of where is it written on my birth certificate, I ask myself today? I woke up and I said, "Why? where is it written I have to save Western civilization? Where is it written that I have to get up every day and carry this world on my shoulders? So I went and got my birth certificate. It has my name, where I was born, and when I was born. It has my mother's name and my father's name. But it doesn't say, Michael, you shall save Western civilization. You shall be required unto the th uh, three score and ten to scream your heart out as you watch the world going up in flames with quizlings at every level of the U.S. government. You don't have to do that. What the heck are you doing it for? 
Just play rock and roll and do a two-dimensional radio show. You'll make more money like the rest of them. Just have them call up and say, you're a great American. Tell them, yes, I'm a great American. That's all. Then when someone calls up and says, ditto, say ditto to you. That's all. That's what they're used to. They want a John Nagy radio show. Republicans, good. Republicans going to save America. It's those dams that are no good. You got to vote for Republicans. Don't vote for them dams, no good. Republicans, good. Dems, bad. <laughs> it's astounding. It, I, I don't know if the audience has gotten dumber or I've gotten dumber, but something's wrong here. I have never seen anything like it. The callers are getting stupider by the day. The media has gotten dumber by the day. And so maybe I'm getting stupider by the day. Maybe we've all gotten dumber together under Obama. It's possible that Obama's lowered the native intelligence of the American people by around 15 points since he's 